Let's go to Dayton, Ohio now, where the second mass shooting in the United States has occurred in just 13 hours. Nine people killed there. Laura McQuillan is tracking this story. Laura, of course, we're expecting to hear from the mayor at any moment from Dayton, Ohio, but what do you know about this overnight breaking news? That's right. So we do hope to get an update just momentarily. So nine dead, as you mentioned, John. We don't know the identities of those victims as yet, but we're also learning that 16 people are wounded and taken to hospital. No details on the nature of their injuries, but police also confirming this morning that the suspect has been shot dead by multiple police officers who were responding to this. They're still working to establish the identity of that suspect and what their motive might have been but we heard from the assistant police chief in Dayton a short time ago and here's what he said. Uh, currently we're, uh, we're working on identifying the suspect uh, to um, uh, see what the possible motivation might have been. We do not have that yet. Uh, suspect was uh, uh, firing a, a long gun with, uh, with multiple rounds at the victims. Now, we're also learning from police that the FBI is involved in this investigation. They're helping with that uh, look into what the motive may have been here. They believe that the suspect acted alone, but there have been some reports from witnesses of a second suspect, so police aren't ruling that out at this point in time. And John, I want to show you exactly the spot that we're talking about here. Uh, it took place about 1 a.m. outside a bar, and you can see Dayton marked there. There's an area, the entertainment district, it's known as Oregon, and that's the area where this took place. A couple of bars there saying that all their staff are safe, but eyewitnesses saying, you know, they were outside the bars at the time and saw those flashes as the gunshots went off. Police were in the area. They were on patrol because this is a popular entertainment area, and uh, police, the assistant chief of police saying if they hadn't been in the area, this could have been a lot worse. Dayton is, a, Dayton is a very safe area. The downtown Dayton uh, is a very safe area. This is extremely unusual, obviously, for any community, uh, let alone Dayton, in our Oregon district. This is, uh, this is unheard of and very sad. It's a very tragic evening. And all the more shocking, of course, because this is the second uh, mass shooting in the United States within just about 12 hours, the third in a week. And as we mentioned, we are expecting to hear from the mayor of Dayton momentarily, hopefully get an update uh, on the victims, on those injured, find out their conditions as well, and any other details that they may have been able to piece together at this point in time. Yeah, and the deputy chief saying that his force specializes in dealing with this kind of training for its officers, That's including right. going to other forces, saying it could... And it's a cliche, but in this case, he says it's true. It could have been, in his words, much, much worse. Exactly. Laura McQuillan, thanks so much. You're welcome. Well, the Deputy Director of Dayton Police, Lieutenant Colonel Matt Carper, spoke with the media earlier this morning. Now, here's a bit more of what he said at that news conference. Uh, we currently have uh, the FBI on scene. We are conducting uh, the investigation. Uh, FBI is, uh, is, is on scene as well to provide any uh, necessary resources. We're still... Uh, interviewing uh, obviously a lot of witnesses uh, as well as officers to try to uh, determine if anybody else was involved. This is a very safe part of downtown and it's a, it's a, a very popular destination for, uh, for visitors in the Oregon district. This is a very tragic incident and, uh, and we're, uh, we're doing every, everything we can. Now that was Dayton Police Deputy Chief Lieutenant Colonel Matt Carper.